I want the bed. Obviously you don't.
another early start. Sunny down here, so it was, um, it was raining and sleeting when I left there. I left home. Got my, uh, they call these wake up wraps, but it's not really a wrap, is it? More like a breakfast taco. Melty cheese sausage egg. Keep the keep the carbs down, you know. Kind of cut it out with the bread and the sweets. Not good. Too much sugar. Well, from the clip you've seen before this, seen I got rid of that Chevy truck that I stripped down and I ended up selling just about everything off of that. Made a, made some pretty good money. Plus I got the 5.3 out of it, 130,000 miles. I sold the doors, the fenders, the grill, headlights, the hood, bumpers. There was somebody interested in the bed, but, you know, everyone says, I want that, but nobody ever goes through, you know, on stuff like that. Snooze, you lose. But, oh, and I just, just yesterday, I even sold the wheels off that truck for a hundred bucks. The tires were junk. They were all dry rotted. They just wanted it. They wanted them for the wheels. They took the wheels and tires. Another hundred dollars. That was, uh, that was a pretty good cash cow, that truck. And I still got parts, transfer case, a um, bunch of little stuff. Got some stuff for the blue truck, new console, a bunch of interior stuff. I even got five gallons of gas out of that thing. So, um, the deal with that truck was that was a 2000 and I didn't get a title with it which I go to two different scrap yards if you didn't know the one the guy buys complete cars and he buys the cats off me as you know the other one is just for the scrap metal so I figured that thing's going to be totally stripped down, and that guy likes to buy them, you know, kind of complete, at least with, you know, most of their parts. But the thing was is the scrapyard has a different limit for the year that they can take something without a title. And that being, you know, I already made my money off. It was just basically the cabin chassis and the bed. No motor, no tranny, no rear end, no nose on it, you know, no doors. But I would have brought that just to the scrapyard and not, you know, not brought it all the way down because it's another 45 minutes past the scrapyard to go to the guy that buys the complete cars. But the thing was is they won't take the 2000 at the scrapyard without a title. And that was still considered a vehicle because it was still sort of resembled one. It had a VIN number. So I had no choice but to truck that thing down 
to him. I kind of just showed up with it and didn't say nothing. But, I mean, he's crushing everything anyway, so it don't matter. I, I didn't really care whether how much I got for it, you know. Even if I got 50 bucks, it would have been fine with me. Because I already made my money and got everything I needed. So, I brought it down and he said, well, he said, no, I'll give you, uh, I'll give you SUV price for that. So, for a complete SUV, minus cats and wheels, he pays $215. So, I said, well, thanks for that. He said, yeah. He said, you bring me stuff all the time. And I said, well, the only reason why I brought it down is because the other place, you know, won't take it. He said, yeah, they got in trouble from the state for uh, buying cars without titles. So, they gave them a higher limit on the year. And, uh... He said, it won't matter in a couple weeks because I'm getting a scale. He's putting a, um, a big scale in. And I said, he's going to be buying anything, all scrap metal. So, <clears throat> and he's going to be paying significantly more than the other place. So, we'll see what happens. I mean... If I just got the old, you know, the farm truck with some light iron, not really worth it to me. Go another 45 minutes to bring the stuff to him. But I'm not making a lot of profit. So I'd probably still take that light stuff to that other one just because it's closer. And maybe, you know, get some big loads of number one. Maybe truck those down to him. I don't know. Plus, I could work it out if I have a car to sell them and some cats. Then I could bring some scrap, too. Maybe something like that. But So, I, I was pretty happy with that. Getting two fifteen for that. There was nothing left of it. Hash browns. A little well done today. But. So. I had also just seen if he had like a, a good side post battery down there, but didn't have anything at the moment. But I wanted one for that white truck just to get one in it, and that way I could get it to a point where I can, you know, start and move it around if I need to, and it runs and drives. Um... So, he didn't have nothing, but, so then, uh, I left there, and I was thinking, you know, about a mile from his yard, I always, the last few times I've passed by this, um, white Chevy truck with a plow, kind of ratty looking, the little wooden, like, flatbed on it, like a homemade thing, had a for sale sign, and, uh, I thought it's probably too much, you know, being, uh, you know, having a plow and stuff. So I hadn't, I hadn't really stopped, but um, <clears throat> I decided, you know, it was a nice day, I had money in my pocket, and uh, for the hell of it, I'm going to pull up and I'm going to see, just for the hell of it, what this guy wants for this truck. So, pulled up, talked to the guy. He wanted too much money for it. Not as much as I thought, but... It ran, but, you know, it smelled like coolant. The frame was rusted through. Really rotted. It had all sorts of little problems. Door handles, window glass stuff like that it was uh it's in pretty bad shape guy just dropped his hat out of the truck dump truck but um the plow worked on it 
it wasn't the greatest plow, but anyway, long story short, I made him an offer. He went in to look for the title, and then he couldn't find the title. He said, no, nope, no title with it. I said, well, that makes a difference to me. It was, uh, it was a 2000 also. And he said, oh, you don't need one. I said, well, you know, I said, what if I decide to do something with it? Because at the time, I was sort of thinking about bringing it home. But I wasn't really sure yet. I needed to I needed to go to a parking lot and really look at this thing, you know, just get it away from him and go look at it myself and see. I mean, it had, the thing about it is it had the factory cats on it, the two. So I knew the money there. I knew what I was getting into. It had pretty good tires on it. And it had a brand new battery. The side post that I was just looking for at the junkyard. So I said, this is kind of stupid. So he wouldn't budge on. I, I offered him even less without the title. And he wouldn't really budge. And so I ended up actually taking off. I went down the road and. You can see in the video um, that the clips I'll put up after this, um, I actually turned around about, about a mile down the road, and I said, you know what? I said, I can just turn around, bring this thing back down the street to the junkyard, sell it to him, have him cut the cats, sell those, make a profit, get my battery, and keep the tires if I want. I said, this is kind of, you know, kind of a stupid thing. So I ended up uh, turning around. I went back, and the guy said, oh, you changed your mind? And I said, yep. So I bought it and went to pull it on the trailer, but the plow doesn't go up far enough. plow was all rusted. Couldn't He claimed we couldn't take it off. So we ended up backing it on, but what happened there is... Uh, there's too much weight on the ass end of the trailer now with that, you know, that plow and that frame and the engine and everything in the front of that truck. All the weight was on the back and there was like not, a, you know, like nothing on the uh, tongue of the trailer, which is not what you want. So at that point, I mean, I really couldn't bring it home anyway unless I went somewhere and tried to get the plow off. And put that, you know, in the truck and then pull the truck on forward. Um, I could have brought it home. It might have been a little better of a, of a plow truck than the Raider. But I don't know at the same time. I mean, it was uh, it was pretty rough and I don't know if it was worth it. But So at that point I just tried to drag it down and get it back to the junkyard. And um, if you... <clears throat> You can't really see the smoke in the video, but the tire on my trailer started hitting the fender and squealing and smoking. But I was only on a little back country road, you know, no traffic. Um, I just pulled over and I ended up ratcheting uh, the, I put a ratchet strap to the fender and I pulled it up and hooked it over the mirror of the truck and held that so that it cleared and I drove slow. You know, maybe 25 um, down to the junkyard, and the guy, and they're like, they know where I'm coming from, and they're like, how did you get one that fast? And I said, oh, just happened to find one down the street. Now, the funny thing was, is here's this guy has a a fleet of trucks, you know, tow trucks, trucks with trailers that go. He has guys driving them, going out picking up cars all day. And they're driving by this thing a hundred times every day. And no one thought to stop and, you know, see how much this truck was. Because uh, for the price I paid, he would have bought it and, uh, and just did his thing, you know, with the cats and stuff. So I ended up, nope, oh, took my battery out myself. And uh, I said, uh, I said, I'll take the tires back and. Um, 
they cut the cats I sold those they were the other code they weren't as good as I thought but I ended up going so a mile down the road I brought that truck back I got a brand new battery I got the four wheels and tires and I made $200 profit I put the money back in my pocket that I paid for the truck five minutes ago and then I put the money back in plus two hundred dollars so I mean uh, kind of a wacky situation but uh, worked out they were happy because I brought them another truck and uh, he said keep on doing that he said I don't care you can pick them all pick them up all you want around here you find them or yours so I hate when they they burn the shell you know it's like rock hard I can't even eat it But, that was the other day, that was such a crazy day, didn't really finish up uh, my video for that day, but today's a new day, and I guess that guy was, uh, guy's pretty happy with the business I'm giving him, so called me up yesterday and uh, he said hey I got a car up a Hyundai up there near you somebody called me on but I don't want to send a truck up just for one car not worth it for me it's, uh, it's about 90 miles so he said you want to pick it up <clears throat> you buy it and bring it in just like normal you know it's just like it's your car bring it in to me he said and I'm going to tell you you're going to make some good money because the car it's a Hyundai and those little Hyundais got some good cats on them so five minutes from my house I went and bought it like I was like I was his company. The people don't know any different. It doesn't matter anyway. They just they're just worried about getting their money. So I bought that. Let's see if you can uh, little Hyundai Elantra, uh, Hyundai Accent. Sorry. Those little crap boxes got good cats on them. I got one before last year. And, uh, nice. I also, um, guy that I work with sometimes doing, uh, clean outs and demos and stuff. He was cleaning up a yard, raking, and he found a rotted exhaust system in a yard somebody wanted to get rid of, and the cat was still on it got this old rotted cat and uh, so we got that in the back I ended up uh, he ended up giving that to me so bring that at the same time cash it in see what it pays So check out the next video clip uh, will be after I left the yard and got that white truck and uh, continued on my day.